What is up everyone? Welcome back to our lawn and today we're talking about a topic I don't see very often and that's what does fertilizer cost? or any product for that matter. And your first instinct might be to say, well, of course nobody makes that video. It's what the, they, that's what they make me pay to take it from the store, you idiot, that's what it costs. But with a lot of our lawn care products, the price on the bag isn't the end of the story. So I'll do the abridged version for those of you with short internet attention spans up front here. You are going to take the price of the product divided by the pounds or ounces of the product and then multiply that by the application rate. There you go. Now you can actually compare costs apples to apples. For those of you capable of sticking around for a little bit longer. Let's walk through an example with fertilizers and with fertilizers specifically, we're going to use a target of a half pound of nitrogen per 1000 square feet. So to go through this exercise, we're gonna try to find out in the granular world, what is a half pound of nitrogen actually cost? And I'm gonna pick four that I think are probably some of the most common. So I'm gonna pick the popular stuff here on YouTube, which is Melorganite and Freedom. Then I'm gonna take Home Depot's synthetic nitrogen fertilizer and an ammonium sulfate product that I get from my local landscapes supplier. So with our fertilizers, and I'll have the math on the screen here, we need to, again, it's that same process. We need to know what the product costs. So I'll flash that on the screen for all four, and we're going to see out the gate. Melorganite is way in the lead, much cheaper, but is it? So now we need to divide that price by the weight of the bag, and that's going to give us these four numbers. And now we need to understand reading a fertilizer bag. And if you want a lot of information on that, click the video up in the corner and go check that out. That's a lot of information on how to read a fertilizer bag. But the short and sweet, we're looking at the three big numbers on the bag, which are nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And those represent the percent of the content in the bag that is those three elements. So now we can take a look at the percentages for our main products. And so now we know for every pound of product, we're gonna be putting down that decimal of a pound of nitrogen onto the ground. So we know what our product costs per pound. We did that already, that was already on the screen. Now we need to find out the pounds per thousand that we need to put out of that product to get to a half pound of nitrogen. And again, say with a pound with Melorganite, we're putting down six one hundredths of a pound of nitrogen. So we need to put down enough pounds to get that nitrogen total to a half pound. And what we're gonna need to do with the math there is take the nitrogen percentage and divide it by 0.5. Is that right? I think that's right. And what we're gonna need to do to know how many pounds we need is take 0.5 divided by, how does this math actually work? Shit, I'm dumb. 50 divided by six, eight point something, eight point something. So here we're gonna throw out our decimal places. We need to take 50 and divide it by the number representing nitrogen on the bag. So for Melorganite, for example, 50 divided by six. For ammonium sulfate, for another example, 50 divided by 21. And that's the pounds that we need to get a half pound of nitrogen per 1,000. Pounds of the product that we need to get a half pound of nitrogen on the ground. And remember a couple steps ago, we figured out the price of these products per pound. So now we need to take that price times the application rate price, and now we actually have a uniform comparable price point to take all of these products. And now are they all identical after the nitrogen total? No, there's other value considerations to consider. Considerations to consider. There's other considerations in what a fertilizer is worth to you. There's prill size, there's other nutrients in the bag, there's micronutrients, there's you're looking for it if you want to go down that road, if there's carbon or humic or whatever other products, I would say those don't have a ton of value. But hey, if you want to focus in on that type of program, I'm not going to stop you. But this process, if you go through this exact process, you can use this for herbicides, you can use it for fungicides, you can use it for any side, you can use it for any fertilizer, you can compare liquids this way, this step process can get you to what is the actual cost of the product that you're using? What is an application cost you. So maybe to some of you, this is a stupid and simple concept. Maybe to some of you, this was eye opening. I hope it was helpful one way or the other. Let me know any questions you might have anything I can explain further. I will be happy to do that down in the comments. If this was helpful, if you do want to follow along to what we're doing here, I'd suggest and ask that you subscribe to the channel, like the video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.